Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon to you all. I've got the hairy mic back today. Um, it's Lunan Bay, but it's not looking too nice today, Lunan Bay. It's, uh, it's a dull day again. It's nearly June, and we still haven't had a summer. It was nice this morning. I actually sat out on uh, on the balcony this morning and enjoyed a nice cup of coffee in the sun. And then suddenly it got uh, dull again. So, uh, yeah, and a wee bit windy. So I just came down to Lunan Bay here to sort of quick uh, stroll, checking out the castle. Now, do you not think it looks like uh, Scooby-Doo? If you hang on a second, I'll flick this round. So here's Lunan Bay today, very quiet. The car park, mind you, was quite full, but I uh, don't know where everybody is. And there's the castle. That was falling down. And uh, let's say it looks like Scooby-Doo from the side. Let's just zoom in. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Yeah, you can see the uh, similarities from this angle. So let's go and have a closer look. I must say, the Luna Bay is looking very calm today. It's, uh, yeah, not much activity at all. The waves are quite small. Yeah, not much going on today. There's people off at the castle taking some pictures. Now, down here somewhere, there's a remains of a World War II. Um, tank, it's not a tank trap, it was like a metal bit from a tank, I think it was. Uh, but you only see it sometimes when it's uh, very low tide and the wind blows all the sand away. I think it's just up here a little bit. So there's the castle. I'll get a wee bit closer and just zoom up and you can see where the uh, problems lie. Where I think it's going to fall down. I was in front of the Curia for one day when we came uh, to visit and uh, they looked at our spiz page and seen all the comments and how people were worried it was going to fall but uh, that's a bit there, so it's a bit dark but that's a bit there, it's kind of rotting away. Mm. So you can actually see the erosion there, this bit here Looks like it's next to go. That's going to maybe fall into the the sea, and that could drag bits of the top bit down, and then the castle to fall away. I think that's what the issue is. Yeah, so I think they're going to have to move some of these rocks here and move them along to here to stop that bit from falling down. See what I mean, folks? It looks like it's it's a bit eroded, and. Uh, it could go but then the experts say it's going to be fine so but that just looks a bit daunting to me okay yeah, one of these days we're going to wake up and the castle's going to be on the beach here I'm telling you so you can see it is like swamp land here it's like the everglades we'll see some uh alligators in here soon that's amazing So these are the woods over here. We'll take the path, I think, through the woods. But as I said before, this is part of Lunan Bay that uh, people sometimes don't see because they stay on the beach and they don't come around the back. Plenty of pace places in there for some uh, stealth camping. Maybe. I can see somebody camping. Look, over there. System Skynet. Is that you? Look at the birds down here. We've got, is that a heron we've got down there? A swan. Look at that, folks. Beautiful. Oh, there it goes. I didn't really want to scare it, but they're so timid, these birds. So I just watched it fly away there through the the trees. Quite an elegant, uh, quite an elegant bird. 
Oh, there's the ducks gone now as well. Christmas I'm scaring everybody. I'm trying to be quiet. And swans remain. That's the ducks gone now as well. So I'm sure there used to be a viewing, well, there definitely was a viewing platform here or just over there. But I think they've taken it away. I think with the erosion, again, it was, um, it was getting hard for people to actually to get onto the viewing platform because all the sand was kind of going down and down and down. It was like a massive step to get up. So unless I've missed it, but I'm sure it was just here. The viewing platform and it's gone. They've taken it away. I'm sure they have. Kind of just like disappeared. No, I must have just taken it away. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, that's a shame. That was the highlight. Always coming and standing on the uh, the viewing platform. But yeah, two or three people on the beach today. Everyone's got shorts on, including me. So one final look at the beach. The tide is coming in, and I say it's very gentle waves today. So we've stopped at the Red Castle. Just uh, going to have a, go up and have a, a quick look. I've not been here for ages. Last time I came here, there was a big tree that had fallen down. I think it's been cleared yet. So the tree's still there from Storm Harwin. So there's another little path going up here. A little desire path. So it's this time of year, you actually forget all the bugs start coming out. Flies, flying ants, these big horse fly things you get up here. And they've all started to appear again. So you forget when you see these beautiful sights, you actually forget about all the bugs. So that's where it was just 20 minutes ago down there. So I actually walked around there and then through the woods. That's where the guy was camping, just in there. Oh, it's a nice view from up here. So we're here at the castle. It always looks smaller from up here. So obviously when you look from down there it looks big because it's half down the side of the hill but what you see here is just the kind of the top half but there is red castle let's go and get a closer look right they've got a fence around it now there's a little gap here though so they've taken the fence away so we'll go and sort of quick a quick look was a lot more overgrown than it used to be. You used to be able to walk right in there, no bother. But now there's lots of foliage in there, which is uh, taking over the castle. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. What a glorious night it is down here at the uh, Montrose Basin. We've got a stunning sunset going on. It won't set for an hour yet, but uh, it's so still tonight. There's virtually uh, no movement on the basin at all and the uh, couple of boats just sitting out there. It's glorious. It's like a first real summer night. Right, good afternoon. Actually, no, good evening. Just as we're down here in Brockley Ferry waiting for the uh, cruise ship to leave. Yes, yeah, so I'm back watching the cruise ship again. Um, it's delayed by about half an hour, so it's having a quick walk up to Winnie Bray. And uh, this is meant to be the steepest street in Scotland, allegedly. But uh, there's a uh, few competitors that argue against this, saying, no, this is not the steepest street, but it's very steep. It's a killer. It's very short. 
and steep. I mean, with my breathing as it is, Christ. Whew. Winnie Bray. So I think this is the steepest part of the, uh, the street. It's like uh, San Francisco. Today we are along the cliffs with Rosie, starring Rosie today. Hello. There she is. And there's Jag in the front there. And we're at Dickmont Den. There it is. Famous Dickmont Den down here on the cliffs. Now one of these days we're going to go down to that cave. Uh, I think it's called the Piper's Cave. Right. I don't think you can hear me say because of the wind, folks. It's very windy. Oh, people coming. People coming. Hang on. So folks, as I was saying, yes, yeah, so down here today it's very windy. So I don't know if you can actually hear me because I've got no microphone today. But it's always lovely for a walk along here. I've seen them in my videos hundreds of times. It's always good for a Sunday, Sunday jaunt. Right, Deal's Heat, there it is, Deal's Heat. Jack's going down first. She's staying there just to watch over things in case we fall. She's the danger contact, she phones the um, danger, the police if we fall. Okay, so Jack's down there first. He's going to touch the deal's heat first. It's not so uh, blue down here. Normally it's nice and blue in the sun. But it's a bit, uh, a bit green today. There he is. He's touching the, touching the deal's heat. There he goes. First. There's the pool of gloop. The pool of gloop. Arrive Don Le. The heat of the devil. The There it is. The view from there. The deal's heat. I just want to take this opportunity to wish Brian a happy birthday today. Happy birthday, Brian. Happy birthday, Brian. Hope everything's okay across there in the US of A. seen some dolphins, dolphins and they're kind of heading this way so hopefully we're gonna wait a minute and see if they come along past the deal's heat and then jump over the deal's heat maybe Follow them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they go right over the top they leap over them
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great. Right, now heading along to the far end of the cliffs, folks. And then we're going to turn back. It's been most enjoyable. Nice weather so far. Very calm. Very calm indeed. Here they come. Very lush, the corn says very lush. Rosie says it's very corrosive. <laughs> Liking the corrosion. Corrosion. Mike Thorn. Just remembering the name. Just put, put, put on my video so I remember Mike Thorn, the drone guy. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you take it like? It's about 10 miles. You know, right. like End the video right here. <laughs> Never said that before ever on my videos. And say goodbye to you all. We're going to end the video right here and uh, say cheerio. Thanks for watching all these little clips today. Uh, this will be just about clip of the week video montage. And uh, hope to see you soon. See you cheerio, Jag. See you later, guys. And uh, we'll leave you here in the glamorous setting of Arbroath toilets uh, in the car park by the cliffs. Ice out. cream. I think. So yes, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Remember and like and subscribe and press all the buttons that you've got to press.